All right, Pop. Colin just fell asleep on the couch. I'll carry him to his... I, uh... Does he like stories? It's late. He's got school in the morning. I could tell him one. Won't take long. Honest. Fine. Psst. Hey, buddy. Your grandpa's got a story to tell before he heads home. Does that sound like fun? <laughs> it sounds better than sleep. Alrighty. Let's see. Years and years ago, I was a kid too, believe it or not. Just a little older than you. Where I grew up, wasn't exactly the safest of places to live. Wonder what that was like. We had to share the neighborhood with a terrifying creature made entirely of metal. Like a dragon? Uh, precisely. And most of the time I was able to stay out of its way. Until one day, I decided, I'm gonna take a bite out of your grandpa. Did it hurt? Well, <clears throat> I tried, anyway. I managed to escape, but by that point, I was going to be late for school. And so, I decided to make the journey on foot. Dragons lack subtlety. I could tell from a mile away that it had passed through the area before me. The cracked road and formerly lush fields around me were completely demolished. And there were massive pits everywhere. How did you get across them? Oh, I, uh... Well, I was much more spry when I was your age. I bet you could have jumped across no problem. Dad doesn't like it when I jump on stuff at the playground. My legs were already sore from all the jumping, but I knew I had a ways to go. And right in front of me, I saw it. A shining sword, stuck in the ground. As if it were waiting for someone like me to claim it. A sword? Who would leave their sword behind when there are dragons around? Uh, please, try not to spoil anything. I gripped it firmly. And in one swift motion, yanked it free from the earth. It was razor sharp, surprisingly light, and polished enough for me to see my own. As I moved on, I caught a glimpse of someone up ahead. She had beautiful, long black hair, and moved much faster than I could. And right in front of me, I saw it. A shining sword, stuck in the ground as if it were waiting for someone like me to claim it. Huh. It looked like she left something for me. 
A royal spear. Sharp point, stretching up to the sky. Who was it? Was she hunting the dragon? At the time, all I knew was that she amazed me. I could feel it. She wanted me to succeed. Pop, I did too. I wanted to catch up to her, so I could thank her for the gift. Finally, I reached her. I must have looked wild, panting and all from the path so far. She made it look effortless. The words were caught in my throat. And before a sound escaped, she held out her arm and gave me one more gift. Was it another weapon? Did she give you a giant hammer? <laughs> Correct again, Colin. It was almost too bulky for me to carry. But I wanted to impress her, so I made it work. I knew I could really do some damage with this thing. I was about to set it down and ask for her name. But when I looked up again, she was already gone. Why did she keep running away? You know, I was wondering the same thing. Perhaps she just had a knack for disappearing. Don't project. I just reached the Peterson's farm. Hills and fields stretched out in any direction I could look. Did you see a cow? It, Peterson's wasn't that kind of farm, Colin. Maybe when we visited. But when I was young, there were lots of them. They kept the tire swing, though. Ah, you used to love that old thing. Dad, can we go to the farm? Well, um... It's not around anymore, buddy. 